Travel Mama Anna Vaughn and here I am in Tapo. This is the big bus station inside of De Efe, also known as Mexico City. For those English speakers out there, I just did a whole video about 24 hours in De Efe that's in Spanish. It's right before this one. If you want to rush up on your Spanish or your bilingual bonus points for that, then you can check that out. Right now I'm on my way to Cholula, which is one of my favorite towns just outside of Puebla. It's only about two and a half hours from De Efe. I'm about to take the Estrella Rojo, the bus out there, and make a video. Luna's not on this trip with me. She's back at home with Grandma, which is really nice. I came out here to sell some stuff, get a camera repaired, other sort of city-like things, and decided I would go visit some friends in Cholula on my way home. So here we go, strap in. If you like this, like it, share it, subscribe, and hit the little bell and get notified for the next time that we upload. with Luna before we decided on the beach and but it still might be in our future there's a lot of schools here there's tons of playgrounds there's niñeras inside of restaurants there's niñeras and bars I mean you just saw that train go by like that's just in this mall this is just some shitty mall on the edge of town and there's so much for kids here and it's just so family friendly which is very much Mexico everywhere you go outside of the really big cities and the beach towns so hopefully gonna show you a little bit more of that this on this quick 24 hours in Cholula. Hi, it's Anna Vaughn with Travel Mama Anna Vaughn. As I said to you before, I'm finally in Cholula and I'm with my good friend, Carol. Can we call you Carol? Yes. Caroline? Yes. Carol. Carolina. Carolina. Like North Carolina, that's my name. <laughs> And we're not going to say Carolina because no. that sucks. Carolina or Carol. Yes. This is my good friend from Mexico City who's been talking about leaving Mexico City for a long time and moving out to Cholula. And now she did it. Yes, I did it finally. I'm super proud of her. And we're going to do a little, we're going to tool around. We got one errand to run and then we're going to go to, is it a fair or farmer's market? What is it? It's not a farmer's market because it's more like designer stuff and art. But I don't think they have like produce. But, but it it's is like what, like once a month or? It's once a month and it's like a bazaar. Okay, it's a bazaar once a month. My other friend who lives here told me it's really good. So we're going to go there to have a little check out some art after. Yeah. regular trip even though last time in the airport in the FA they took a bunch of stuff from me this time I'm gonna just play it safe I'm gonna get stuff that they can't do for me fingers crossed like bath bombs and stuff and hopefully it all gets worked out anyway I love Lush I've been using it on Luna since birth I love that kids can just like eat it because it's all food grade vegan so none of you know I don't have to worry about anything Unless you should probably get Advance points on this. What's the name of the university? UDLAP. What does it stand for? Universidad? Universidad de las Americas Puebla. But it's like the Harvard it's of like Mexico, the right? Mexican like Mexican Harvard, kind of. They have like sororities. In Mexico, we don't do sororities. But they do them there. They do them there. Funny. Yes. Ooh, here's the sign, San Andres Cholula, people. Get excited for a sign. Cholula is in two parts. There's San Pedro Cholula and San Andres Cholula. And the breakdown basically is San Pedro is like more the town. It's more like you walk everywhere, it's like a grid. But it also has a lot of tourists from Puebla. Like a lot, all the weekend warriors come in. San Andreas Cholula is like they have farms out there, the better restaurants are there, and it's like the spot to live in. Because the university is here, there's also like a lot of this like shitty kind of frat boy getting drunk stuff. 
But from what I understand, I've never gone out in Cholula. It's all kind of in one area. Yes. They have like streets, like these are the clubs. Oh, there's karaoke. Yes. The, the, all, all of these are clubs. Like if you came into Friday night, everything's open and there's lights everywhere. So like a university town. Yes, exactly. And then you get to the um, to the church, which is there. Is the church in in a pyramid? So the, oh, the the cathedral, yes. like the main. Yeah, I did yes. a video about that. Yeah. And then that's like the towny part, which I like better than this part. Yeah. Now the last time that the last time that I came here and I made a video about it when I was here with my friend Alexis and her son and Luna, we loved how you could walk easily. We loved like here I'm going to show you this. People like exercising right now. It's a very walkable town. I always Airbnb. I always find somewhere local. I really like this place online. It's just a room, which is all I need for one night. But it's all about the location. It's on a very busy corner here. There's like stores, just cute little restaurants and bars. It's walking distance from everything. But also, just take a look at this bed. When I saw the decor, I was like, this is perfect for me. Marlena Dietrich. It's got a little sofa here, a little table, and then the shared space is all in here. Kitchen, bathroom, etc. Everything is handmade. It's artisans coming together. We have little things like this in Brooklyn Square. Yeah, they're obviously a little bit smaller where I live, but it's cool that it's at this brewery, and I think we're gonna go get a beer. It's nine o'clock, we're both exhausted. Neither one of us want to be out, it's a Sunday. Have to work tomorrow, both of us. Both of us have to work. But we're like, let's go for a drink. But we're in a town of 150,000 people. It's mostly a university town. Nothing's open. It's cold out here at night. It gets really cold at night here. And we found a pulqueria alternativa that's open. And by open, I mean there's people standing outside smoking. So they could be the only four people in the place. We're gonna go there. But do you want to explain what pulque is? Pulque, it's like, it's this drink that's made out of... Don't look at me, you're from the Efe. It's really <laughs> famous in the Efe. From it is Xochimilco. really famous in the Efe. But it's, I, I don't know the... Um, the I, I don't think it's agave because the is from agave. So we have to, you have to Google it. Don't it, but what does it taste like? It's sort of, it's somewhere in between like mezcal and wine. No, but it's it's gooey. I don't like pulque, it's but not we're gooey. Gonna, you know, it, it gooey. tastes a little bit like, like if it, you put oatmeal in hot water for a yeah, long time and yeah, then like fermented porridge. it in like a jail toilet, yeah, with some mezcal. Kind of, it's like got this like artisanal but, taste to it, like someone made it at home, but it's it's gooey. No? It's not gooey. It it's was like, murky. It's like drinking porridge. What? Yeah, it's a bit like drinking porridge. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's, um, it's a Mexican delicacy and we're going to go have it some. It is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Con 
Dejo. Cake like and cheese is baby cheese is with hot sauce. Okay, so we looked it up. It's made from the sap of the guacamole, and it's basically like a cider. It's only four to six percent alcohol. It's not a real deal, but it's based in the mezcal family. It's said online that it has a viscous. Naughty. That's true. This one's called the Aromana, so it doesn't taste like normal, okay? Really tastes like someone made it in like a toilet in a jail cell. This one's actually quite famous volcano here in Mexico and I think it's called P Popolopto or something oh my god don't laugh at me I'll put the I'll put the name up here right here <laughs> but that's definitely wrong anyway it's got this beautiful snow-capped mountain in the background and then it has the famous church that's built on top of the largest pyramid in the world and it's just like very beautiful it's really high up it's got a high altitude it's really dry here so it's very hot in the day it feels like the sun is very close and then at night it gets very cold. Oh. that guy it's a Monday morning at quarter after nine and nobody's out this reminds me a lot of when we lived in San Chris and everything was on this like weird old Spanish colonial like uh, time where everything opened at like 11 a.m. but it was like open till 11 p.m. every night anyway We'll go for a little run, check this town out. like on a clear day with you know the volcano in the background Whew. it's a big hike so the volcano is right over there right there you can't see it at all today it's really hazy super early in the morning you can see though look there's another church this is the church where the Zocalo is there's a bunch of churches here including obviously oh, that one the famous, famous one on top of the pyramid. So the way the story goes, this is the story of uh, the majority of places in Mexico and throughout Latin America. There was originally pyramids here. I don't know if they were Mayan or Aztec, but they were abandoned already. And when the Spaniards came in order to convert the locals that were here, they built their churches on top of the pyramids uh, so that they would move their gods over. They in a lot of cases, use the materials of the pyramids to build their churches. This one wasn't built out of the pyramid below, but this is actually the largest pyramid in the world. It has the largest surface area, and you can go and see it underground in the tunnels. And I did make a video about that already. Look at this thing, it's a beauty. It's a beauty.
done. I had to run off because my bus is coming, but I got to take my ramen with me because I always travel with this. And it's got some chopsticks and all the stuff inside. So I'm gonna have to eat it on the bus on the way to the airport. So this is it. If you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe, and hit the little bell to get notified when we upload.